cash is flow. I be feeling like the greatest, but that cash is fun. I'm full attack now. I never back down. Niggas is docile. I got it locked now. Give me my props now. I'm at the top now. I'll never flop now. Cream with a crop now. YouTube, what's the deal? See you in the making back with another video and before we get started man i know y'all heard that song in the intro that's a song by yours truly man do me a favor click this link right here go check out the video to that song and let me know what you think about it man give me your honest opinion drop a comment give it a thumbs up if you're rocking with it but enough of that man let's jump right into this video so i got my oster fast feeds y'all know i rock with the oster fast feeds um and i'm about to chop this thing on the top of my head that y'all see right now man this this curly headed mohawk that y'all see so um got my andy's cool care highly suggest that man keeps your clippers lubricated disinfects them you know keeps them clean and running smooth and all that good stuff so i'm spraying my clippers down right here you know just prepping them for the cut and everything making sure they're lubed up and uh and ready to go man so I tried to cut it with a guard on there. My hair was so curly, it wouldn't even go through. So I took that guard off and I'm basically just like freehanding the very like top layer of my hair just to try to get some of the hair off. And uh, my hair was just so curly by this point, man, I couldn't even get, you know, I couldn't even get a guard through it or a comb through it. So really freehanding, trying to uh, be careful, trying not to cut a patch or a plug in my hair. Um, so I got it down low enough. So I went ahead and threw a guard on there. I think it's a number three. I'm just going with the grain, man. Uh, knocking it down a little bit more. Trying to get it to a more manageable length. And I'm not really going to explain every step of this haircut. Because um, I'm basically doing a drop fade. Which I already have a video on how to do a drop fade. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. I'll leave the link in the description um, so y'all can check that out after you finish watching this video. So like I said, I'm not going to give you the step by step of exactly what I'm doing because I already did that in the drop fade video. So basically what this video is about, I'm trying to see if I can get my waves back after having my hair like this for so long. You know, it's been, I want to say like six or seven months that I grew my hair out like this. So I'm, you know, I'm kind of missing the waves. I want to get back to the waves, man. And I want to see if... I can get them back and how long it takes me to get them back so that's what this video is really about so right here man i think uh that looks like either a number three yeah i think a number three i'm going with the grain or excuse me i was going against the grain uh just trying to knock the hair down some more so right here i got the andy slimline pros uh doing my initial guideline all around the head you know just starting starting off that fading process so that's what y'all can see me doing uh any of these tools that you see me using the oster fast feeds the blue ones that i had in the beginning uh as well as these the andy slimline pros if you're interested in any of these i'll, I'll be sure to leave the uh the link in the description so that y'all can buy them if you want them or if you're interested in them you can look them up, see how much they cost, and go ahead and make that purchase. Uh, so be sure to check that description box for all that pertinent information on that, man. So if y'all pay attention on the sides of my hair, since I kept that side uh, or that part of my hair short, I was still able to maintain my wave somewhat, you know, on the sides. So if you look close, you can kind of see um, that I do still have some waves on the side of my hair, but, you know, I'm really... Uh, I'm really curious to see how the top and the back of my hair turn out, you know, after I cut everything down, because normally when you grow your hair out and you cut it, um, you know, your hair is used to being longer and it's used to being combed out and picked out and everything. So your hair tends to be more straight, you know what I'm saying? So like usually when you cut it, you know, your hair pattern is, is straight and tends to be kind of like sticking up and everything. It's not really, um, it's not really the texture and the pattern that you need to get waves in it. So that's what I'm that's what I'm curious about. You know what I'm saying? I want to see how that turns out. So my plan is once I get finished with uh, the fade, I'm going to wash my hair, uh, brush it. You know, what I'm saying throw a do rag on, line it up and everything and see how it turns out. So uh, let's see right here. I think I got a number one guard on there. Uh, probably just setting in another guideline, something like that. So, like I said, I'm not giving y'all the step-by-step -step details on how to do this exact cut. I'm just kind of uh, 
you know what i'm saying showing y'all this process man i'm i'm really curious to see how this turns out and it's always interesting like i said when you when you grow your hair out it's like the texture and the you know what i'm saying the pattern to your hair changes so uh, i'm curious to see how it's gonna look with the size of my hair you know what i'm saying since i kept that short it's like almost like i got two different types of hair going on so that was kind of a kind of interesting it was kind of a challenge too especially when i was fading because the hair is different you know what i'm saying on the sides it's, it's one texture it's one pattern and on the top it's a different pattern so So I think right here I got the number zero guard. Uh, just trying to work out one of the guidelines. Um, I think the guideline that I created with that number one. Uh, just trying to work that out. Um, just continuing the fade process. Uh, you can see me kind of brushing the hair back in place. Uh, it's a key little tip for y'all, man. That's in the cutting your own hair. Make sure you brush the hair back in place periodically, um, just so you can keep everything straight and you can see, get a clear vision of what. Is what is taking place, you know what I'm saying, with each each stroke that you're doing with the clippers, you know what I'm saying? So very uh very important little tip for y'all, man. So right here, I think I got the number two guard on there. Uh just trying to ease the rest of the hair into the longer portion of the hair towards the top. Um again, brushing it in place. Alright, so let's see, let's see same thing right here man just trying to just trying to work the fade in man and perfect everything as best possible all right so i got the fast fees went ahead and took the guard off uh, so I'm going no guard right now trying to ease that very initial guideline that I set um, that's what that's what y'all can see me working on right now so we getting there man we getting close uh, we're getting close so once I finished like I said I went ahead washed my hair threw the do-rag on lined it up and then uh, y'all gonna see what the end result was So this was it, man. Uh, you can see it's different on the side versus the top. On the top, you can see it's, it's trying to trying to wave up a little bit, but it's not quite there yet, man. So I'm going to have to put in some work to get my waves back. But anyway, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. Keep it a buck like I'm Giannis. I'm really chasing these commas. Heat it up like a sauna. About that beef like piranhas.